the Republican National Convention drew in young and old delegates from around the country. But the Arizona delegation had some of the youngest delegates. Cronkite News reporter Wafa Shahid spoke with two 18-year-old Republicans about their experience. It's kind of unbelievable. Um, I mean, we were we were just in government class this past year learning about national conventions and all and the political process. Rob McCutcheon and Amanda Flores said their goal is to represent millennials in a room full of older Republicans. We're the people that are eventually going to live in the world in this world that you know people a lot older than us are making the decisions for it. And so I want to be you know, in the room where the decisions are made. The millennial generation, um, they're not as involved as previous generations, but I do think there's a lot of potential there, um, especially as of late, there's been a lot of interest there. Uh, you have a lot of smaller grassroots movements. They stressed that basic civil engagement is all it takes to make a difference. You don't have to run to be a delegate. You don't have to be a politician, but at least take the time um, to become familiar with the people who who are running for office. High profile Republicans at the convention agreed that millennial involvement is vital. Donald Trump, again, has opened up the discussion box. He's made it so people talk way more. My daughter's 12 years old, Faith, and Faith tells me that almost every day at lunch or in school or when she's playing with her friends, doing different things, they talk about politics. When does that happen? When have kids been so interested? She credits it to Donald Trump. Whenever you're reaching out and building a party and a movement, you want to continue to reach out for the young vote, and that's something you'll definitely see out of our administration. No matter the winner, their first presidential election will be one they never forget. In Cleveland, I'm Wafa Shahid, Cronkite News.